If you're still drawing breath, God's not done with you yet. Don't quit. Be brave and believe God is for you. Our victory rests not on faith in our spirituality. Our victory rests on faith in our God. The giant step in the walk of faith is the one we take when we decide God no longer is a part of our lives. He is our life. A powerful motivation for believing God in our present is intentionally remembering how has worked in our past. We want Christ to hurry and calm the storm. He wants us to find him in the midst of it first. Let your light shine today, and let your personality blossom, too. You don't have to be a people pleaser, just a people lover. Faith is not believing in my own unshakable belief. Faith is believing an unshakable God when everything in me trembles and quakes. Make no mistake, Satan's specialty is psychological warfare. If he can turn us on God, it's not fair, or turn us on others, it's their fault, or turn us on ourselves, I'm so stupid, we won't turn on him. If we keep fighting within ourselves and losing our own inner battles, we'll never have the strength to stand up and fight our true enemy. May God remind us daily no matter what kind of obstacles we face that we are loved and empowered by the one who brought the universe into existence with the mere sound of his voice. Nothing is impossible for him. Sometimes a storm in your life is what will blow you to the place you are longing to be. Forgiveness doesn't make the situation okay, it makes you okay. Ultimately, our relationship with Christ is the one thing we cannot do without. Whatever God is urging you to clear away cannot begin to be compared to what he ultimately wants to bring you. An ongoing relationship with God through his word is essential to the Christian's consistent victory. God uses change to change us. He doesn't use it to destroy us or to distract us, but to coax us to the next level of character, experience, compassion, and destiny. Sometimes truth is costly but not nearly as costly as deception. Differences will always exist, but division doesn't always have to result. Peace comes in situations completely surrendered to the sovereign authority of Christ. A bruised heart that chooses to beat with a passion for God amid pulsing pain and confusion may just be the most expensive offering placed on the divine altar. You cannot keep doing the same thing, the same way, and keep expecting something different to happen. Dirt is dirt, and we've all got it no matter where we come from. I'm not sure Christ sees one kind of dirt as dirtier than another. One thing is for sure. His blood is able to bleach any stain left by any kind of dirt. Christ sets us free by the power of his spirit, then he maintains our freedom as we learn to live from day to day in the power of that spirit. It's critical that we know what we believe, no matter what we feel, that we know what is true, no matter what we see. God is busy making you someone no one else has ever been. It is not about never doubting, it is about coming out on the other side with twice the faith you had going into your doubt. Every single thing you've been through in your life has had a purpose. Jealousy takes root in the soil of insecurity. He is not only a God of perfect time, but of perfect timing. Anything God does, the enemy tries to counterfeit. We have to be on guard against the enemy. A pair of hands clasped in earnest prayer is the best means we have this side of heaven to hang on to Jesus for dear life. Regardless of who has betrayed you and what promises they didn't keep God is firm in his commitment to you. God wants to wipe away your past and lift your burdens. 
Do you let him? Be careful not to give too much credence to the old adage that time heals. Mark my word. It's God that heals. Time only tells. No sin, no matter how momentarily pleasurable, comforting, or habitual, is worth missing what God has for us. A broken heart heals when we allow the healing to go as deep as the wound went. When you walk with Jesus, defeat turns into victory. Picture God nudging you and I awake before dawn because he can hardly wait to be with us. When we detach the word of God from the heart of God, we miss the point of God. If we are leading but not closely following Christ, we are misleading. Sometimes we stand to learn the most about God from the situations we understand the least. Don't assume that God will always work in your life the way he always has. A sunset is proof that God colors outside the lines. He has no status quo. Even the laws of nature are his to interrupt. As many times as you've prayed before, today may be the day when God sends the answer so swiftly so divinely that your wind burned. When God says go forward, don't even think about standing still. God has promised to every single one of us that even in our hardest times, if we would just hang on long enough, the blessing will come. Faith receives more than it asks. Doubt loses more than it disbelieved. If you are still alive, then God is not finished with you. The Son of Man has authority over whatever has you paralyzed. Get up and walk. We might not be able to change our circumstances, but we can change our attitude. Anyone who truly walks with God, walks humbly. The closer we draw near to him, the more we behold his majesty. Sometimes God allows storms to come together in such a way that they ultimately fulfill something that would never have happened otherwise. Time doesn't heal anything. Only God can heal. Live by faith. Live out loud. And never stop believing God day by day. I don't know how, but I know who. Intimacy with God is that I can come in with the honesty of my heart, tell him how much I'm hurting. Every inch of ground we refuse to take with God, we surrender to the enemy. God often proves himself when we feel we have the least to offer. If we wait for the needy to walk through our church doors, we may wait a long time. God doesn't wait for people to come to him. He goes to them. You don't have to say everything to say something. We live by faith. We love by faith. Trust God to take care of you in all circumstances. Do you realize what the enemy will lose if you surrender and trust God? We can grow so accustomed to being spoon-fed the word of God that we sometimes forget how to examine the scriptures for ourselves. A big difference exists between trying to manipulate God to give us what we want and cooperating with God so he can give us what he wants. You haven't been through one thing that God cannot heal you from. When we resist God, we draw near to Satan. God made our souls to long for him, and we are not fully satisfied without his presence in our lives. If we belong to Christ, Satan has no right to exercise authority over us, but he hopes we're too ignorant regarding scripture to know it. Anxiety is our agitated soul scrambling for control. We must settle in our hearts that no matter what, God is sovereign. You are God's chief creation, 
and you are here for his pleasure and his glory. Never will he hold your hand more tightly than when he is leading you through the dark. When we live to the glory of God, we show his goodness living through us instead of just ourselves. We long to find someone who has been where we've been, who shares our fragile places, who sees our sunsets with the same shades of blue. Soulmates. They somehow validate the depth of our experiences. People don't need Christians to act like we always have it together. People need us to be real. What kind of healing would come if we all just got real before God and others? Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.